Hello everyone, welcome to Resolved Future Gaming. Thanks for checking back in with me. Uh, here we have the new update for PC Builder. Um, let me flip over here and check it out here. We got uh, version 0.8.1.1. A uh, couple big things in this uh, update here is we have the new CPU uh, all-in-one water coolers um, by a few companies EVGA um, Silverstone are the ones I know of here um, Cryorg and then there's uh, another one uh, Rage Tech um, and then we also are able to change the, ro the orientation of the CPU fan coolers okay so here we have uh, the build that we had um, in our last all-in-one water cooling when they first added that. We're going to check out some of the new um, looks of the new uh, AIO all-in-one water coolers here. Um, so let's go in here to CPU cooling. We'll scroll down and find some of the new ones here. So the NZXT Krakens is what we used before. Um, it seems to me that they only, I don't know if they had all the options here last time um, that they do now, but don't remember. Um, there's Cooler Master uh, ones there. Here's, some, here's the Silverstone ones. So you got the Slim, this is probably a Slim Radiator. Uh, thinner radiator, I'm assuming. Um, height 38 millimeters, 40 millimeters. Uh, and those were both the 240 millimeter length radiators. We got 120, got two choices for the 120 uh, slim and a light. Here's that Ra Ragin Tech 240 millimeter. Um, and then here are the EVJ ones. Uh, those are the ones that I'm going to start with here. Uh, oh, we have a uh, we have a 280 millimeter rad that has two 140 millimeter fans on it, um, and then we have a 240 millimeter uh, rad uh, that has two 120 millimeter, uh, millimeter fans on it. Um, so this is actually the one that I have in my current build after I got rid of the custom water cooling. Um, so we're gonna pop this in there and check it out, boot it up. Uh, right on the CPU block. Uh, this is where the pump is housed as well. Um, it should say EVGA across that and we should be able to do some uh, color changing um, with that. So we should have a cable hook up here for the fan. Um, that is it. Let's go ahead and power this on as is. So yeah, I mean that looks really close to what I have in my current setup here. Um, one thing I notice here is we don't have the, the thumb screws uh, in the brackets, but of course I have a I have an Intel CPU. Um, I don't think that would be different though with an AMD because uh, this was our Ryzen 2 build that we had last time. Um, so anyway, uh, let's check out the colors here, uh, at our PC, we should be able to, uh, oh, um, maybe we need to put in the USB drive here. Okay, there we go. Uh, lighting, let's check that out. We'll do a reboot here. So here is our water cooler here, the CLC240. Uh, we're gonna click there and uh, we can click anywhere in here and uh, change the colors. There, there really is a lot of options here. So we'll apply this. Um, 
let's go check out. Yep, sure enough, there it is. Um, let's see if we can get to match our cables a little bit. Um, now this would probably be the graphics card here. So, where would our cables be here? Um, Somewhere around there, right? So we're gonna do both of those at the same time. Let's go check out the PC here. It's a little more pink, but that's a pretty nice look if you're if you're a fan of the purple here. We have the uh, purple lettering on our Kingpin Edition 1080 Ti, um, and then on our new water cooler here, uh, and then our motherboard too. We have a common theme, same color going throughout those. Um, Let's see about adding, let's see if we can add more case fans here. Um, here's some Corsair RGBs here. Oh, no, can't add those. Um, oh, here, let's, let's install our dust filter. Um, I don't know that we can add a add a fan on the outside for a push-pull configuration on our radiator. So let's check out the case fans. Let's let's see if it'll no. Okay, nope. Uh, we can add some fans up here though. Um, it looks like. But we'd have to take this off, go here, add our fans in. Um, let's go. Let's go ahead and put this in here. I mean, I, I think this will give it a good look. top view here screws going in very nice uh, let's install our dust filter back on okay um, check out the cabling we should be able I noticed we can daisy chain in this game I believe the fans quite frequently so So I thought. All right, so they, they should all be hooked up there. I'm gonna power this on. Those are really, really bright here. I, I wish, I wish real fans worked that good. Holy cow! Um, I'd also like to see some light coming through the top of the case there, a little, a little more. Um, all right, let's check out our lighting here. Here's our fan. What color should we make those? Like, uh, I mean, the orange look good, right? Let's go back to the motherboard being orange here. Maybe not the best combo, but. Um, let's see. Okay, so one thing that would be a nice addition would be able to change the fans on your all-in-one cooler. Um, that's not far-fetched. Uh, I like that it comes with the fans already on it. You know, since you buy them and it comes in the box, you have those fans. But, you know, when you're looking for that nice aesthetic, uh, you want to be able to change the fans on the all-in-one cooler here. Um, so... You know, I'd like to see them add that uh, soon in the future. Now, they do have also, they have some different effects that you can throw in here. Um, so let's look at these here. We can do a, uh, here, we do, ooh, speed, slow that down. All right. Let's 
So if you're if you're a fan of the RGB, you can really get into this uh, into in when you're building here. Um, I would love to see so many parts added to this thing that you could almost use this as a planning for building your building your PC um, to kind of get an idea of what it would actually look like. Like when I built mine, I actually just made a you know drawing on a piece of paper, um, and then I've done a little bit with like finding some pictures and and cutting and pasting them uh, on the computer um, inside the case to kind of just get an idea what the computer will look like um, so th that would be neat um, another thing that would be neat is being able to run these cables uh, you know behind the case more uh, my personal PC I really like to keep the cabling clean um, this you know the main power motherboard power cable is not bad I mean that that's nice um, these fans you know these these fan plugs here you know I would have ran it out the back and then brought through here um, to plugged it in so it wouldn't look and the same thing with the CPU cable I would have I would have ran it back over to to this hole over here and then in um, to really keep a nice clean cut look uh, and, and get those wires out of the way but I mean it's nice you know when they're colored you know it's nice to kind of show them off a little bit um, but it'd be nice if they, after you hooked them up, you know, if you could kind of move it around. Um, that would be really cool, I think. Um, all right, so let's let's go ahead and power this down. Uh, let's check out a couple of the other brands uh, that they added here recently, and um, and uh, and let's let's see what they look like. Um, I don't think this is gonna be a super long video here tonight. I just really want to check out just these big new additions. Um, there was also some some other things that they did as far as uh, in, uh, the save games. I think they added like more cloud-based uh, backup version of your save game is created when a new version of the game is detected. Oh, it won't be visible in the menu. So they back it up. All right. Um, let's see what else is uh, here. Sorry about that. Uh, they have a new uh, NZXT S340 Elite case. So they had the Hyper Beast, uh, which was a really cool looking case, uh, but they didn't have the regular version of it. So now you have the black and black and the black and blue and the black and red options available to you. Um, they added Spanish language support. Um, See here if there's any if there's any big thing they're just pricing on Ryzen CPUs in the game uh, you can do key bindings to the mouse now um, let's see here, I'll try to look it up as we go all right so let's go ahead and go back let's look at some more CPU coolers here um, This one looks like cool, you know, like it's RGB fans. Um, I wonder, all right, here. I wonder if you can change the, okay, yeah. So you can change the orientation of where the, ra the radiator is. That's, that's a neat option. Um, I'm sure we could go and put it up on the top if we wanted to as well. Um, I mean, yeah, let's, let's check it out. Um, we'll take two of the fans out. Oh, we gotta, we have to unhook the cable here first. No. Unplug, okay. One gone. There we go. Up. Oh. Let's see about putting it on the top. All right. So we gotta go back and put our thermal paste back on again. 
Uh, back to our CPU cooling. Raging Tech, it looks like. Uh, I mean, I might be killing that. All right. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't actually see the option to throw them on the top. Uh, why not? I mean, I like to have the two different positions up here that you can do. That, that's a nice touch. But why can't it go on the top here? Um, let's go ahead and take this fan off just to double check that. It's not that being an issue. No! RGB! Alright, yeah, no. Alright, so top is not an option, but it should be. Alright, so let's go ahead and install these. Oh, this is the one with the visual. Okay. Alright, I saw, I saw a review of this real life um, so it has a visual indicator on it that your pump is working and I I thought this one had an inline pump too yes okay so up here is an inline pump so instead of having the pump actually on the block they put it up here um, and then this will be a visual indicator so we'll go ahead and turn it on and we should see some spinning here All right, did we forget something here Oh, um, that would probably be required. Okay, here we go. All right, so we do we do see some spinning here. Let's go check out the color options on this. Um, Wow, that's really bright. Um, we probably can move. No, we can't. Be nice to dim, dim the lights a little bit. I, I they're a little. It's it's too much. The fans don't look bad with that, but here, you can't really even tell the detail. I mean, we can see that spinning, but I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think about the brightness of the lights? All right, uh, let's check out another one here. We'll power it down, unplug, and take this off. Try another one. So that one had an ice RGB fan uh, indicator of the pump spinning. It's a little different. Um, let's check out the silver stone. Um, we'll do a 120. So the light looks like a thinner radiator than the slim, even is the height here I'm assuming is the radiator thickness I don't know what else oh okay so we can put this one on the back we can put the front but again no top all right so let's go ahead and put it let's do it on the back since that's an option let's check it out So install, we'll do the slim model here on the back. Um, and honestly, um, if you're only if you're only cooling your CPU, a 120 all in one cooler is, is probably fine. I mean, you do get better cooling with uh, a 240, or even if you go to the 140 millimeter fans, and you go to like a 280, um, you know, but 
it's it's marginal it's a marginal difference uh, if you've got just one of these you're gonna be getting most of the performance out um, if you're really pushing for that the highest overclock possible um, then you know I, I would go with the bigger cooler but if you're not gonna be that picky you just want to overclock it you're not shooting for the max um, you know if you're overclocking you know your CPUs nowadays I mean going above four now is is easy um, many of them come stock above that so you know we got the 8700k which you can you know push to uh, 4.8 4.9 uh, 4.8 on all cores 4.9 5 gigahertz um, and then other you know other ones are, are close up there um, so we got to a nice spot now let's do some cabling here hook that up so we don't forget that again We'll power that on. It's a nice, nice little, nice little logo there. Keeps it icy cool, I guess, right? Icy cool. All right. Um, another thing we could do on these is we should be able to. Is it a system info? Yeah. So we can check out our. Our thermals here. So it's running at 4.3 gigahertz right now, 4.35. Um, one thing I'd like to see them do is add some overclocking too, which I'm sh I'm sure they will, right? I mean, that's that's a logical place to go. But that would be a lot of information on a lot of different CPUs. And they, they would have to make it, you know, they're not going to have all the different types of BIOSes, I'm assuming. I mean, like right now we have one operating system here um, and these very standard programs. So they're not going to have different options like the actual motherboards and CPUs have, you know. But if they have like a, a standard, you know, overclocking function for your CPU that maybe you can also do your GPU, uh, maybe RAM in and, and mess with the timings of the RAM and things like that, um, that would be awesome. And then maybe even to see uh, artifacts when you're overclocking your graphics card in the 3D Mark, um, you know, program. Those would be really neat additions that would come down the road you know I, I think right now they're they're focusing a lot on the on the parts which I th think that's what they should be doing um, but those would be nice features for those those higher end people who, who know how to build PCs and they're, and they're wanting to take the game to that next level that next step um, you build an awesome looking PC now let's try to push and get all the performance out of it that we can um, I think at that point you know that would be a really great option all right um, let's do one more thing let's let's do a, an air cooler uh, and see about rotating the orientation of the fans um, you know that sounds like a pretty decent uh, addition here so we're gonna remove we're gonna remove our all-in-one cooler um, and then I think that will be it for today So if you guys have any questions at all um, about something I mentioned, um, what I'm doing, if you want to know more about it, uh, please just ask in the comments. Um, I'll get back to you. I can even make, you know, if we get enough questions on a certain video, I'll even make a separate video just for that. Um, you know, if, if I get something wrong, you know, let me know. Um, or if you disagree with something I'm saying. All right, so we'll pick one of these tower coolers. Um, here, we'll just do this Arctic freezer here. All right, so here's the cooler. How do we do this now? Okay, here. So I'm just holding the left mouse button and I'm just dragging around so we can have it face just about any direction we want like literally any direction we want um, all right
right, so how do, <laughs> how do, all right. So I, I can rotate it. But now I don't know how. How do we put it in there? Okay, so I just I must I just clicked the left mouse button there. So I don't know if I double clicked or single clicked, but finally went in there at the orientation that we had. I'm not saying you'd orient this this way, but you know I just wanted to see what it looked like here. All right, so let's power that on. There we go, spinning. All right, but that's that's a neat option. It's a neat option. Um, off also something that would be cool uh, and I don't know if they have any cases now that have like the graphics card like risers so you can you can see the, the fan or you know on them that faces the side of the case but and it has like a little ribbon going back to the actual motherboard um, if they do I don't know that they have the ability to do that on the graphics card yet but that, that would be awesome too to kind of take the visuals to that another level there uh, just some ideas I have but I mean, other than that, it's been it's been pretty cool here. All right, so I'm gonna leave you guys with that for today. So um, please, you know, if you find these videos at all entertaining, please like the video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I would be so thankful for that. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you're having a nice day. Uh, Getting to the summertime here. Uh, we could probably expect a little more content during the summer. I'm hoping to raise the quality, the production quality of the videos. Uh, so I'm going to be looking into possibly getting like a webcam, uh, maybe getting some editing software so I can really take it to the next level, make the videos more entertaining, um, better looking visually. Uh, if there's something else you want to see, let me know. I would also like to get maybe some actual. Um, hardware um, videos out there so um, I might have some work coming up on my son's computer that we need to do uh, after this newest Windows update um, he's got a motherboard that actually is in Windows 10 ready and then this April update that came uh, it did some funny stuff with his computer so we might have to look at changing out some a motherboard or um, or maybe even a motherboard CPU combo depending on the cost of things here um, we'll see but if I do that we'll, we'll put a video up of that uh, actually going down um, but have a nice night guys take care of yourselves uh, until next time we'll see you later okay